Welcome to Nancy Wilson's Femina Podcast. This audio is brought to you by Canon Press. Before we get started, I wanted to announce that the Canon app has arrived. If you have enjoyed Nancy's podcast and you would be interested in hearing more of her audiobooks that are available, the good news is the Canon app has all of Nancy's digital content that is currently available on there. So, in the spirit of No Quarter November here at Canon Press, you can subscribe to the app and there you can binge all of Nancy's audiobooks. It also includes Nancy's conference talks from previous Grace Agendas and other past conferences. So don't miss out. Join us on the Canon app. Download it in your app store of choice. Cheers. Welcome to the Feminine Podcast. This is Nancy Wilson. Thanks so much for joining me today. I thought, another thought that I thought I would share with you, (laughs) and uh, it never hurts to go over some of the same things again, at least for me, it doesn't. It's good for me. And since we've talked in the past about learning to set our minds on things above, I thought I would talk today about one of those hindrances really keeps us from keeping our mind where they belong, and that's what I call dumpster diving. Dumpster diving is when you get in the dumpster with all the food scraps and the yucky stuff, you know, the rotten vegetables and the scraps and the scrapings and the whatnot. And it's just not, it's not a good place. And after talking about happiness, it's like, this is not where we go to find joy and happiness is in the dumpster. Often what is in there and that we spend our time sifting through are just things that belong in the dung heap. And maybe God has already put them in the dung heap and we're fetching them out. And so you think, this makes no sense. Why am I even doing this? It's like, well, there is some kind of weird pleasure, I guess, in it. And that's the thing we have to ask God to kill. It's like, Lord, I don't please you. I'm not glorifying your name when I'm in the dumpster, sifting through all this garbage. So please forgive me and help me to set my mind on the right things that will please you and will bring me joy. Introspection, when we look into our own heart and just want to stay there examining ourselves, going into this dark cave with a flashlight, is one way we dumpster dive. And we go in to inspect ourselves and we focus our attention inward instead of Again, looking outward to Christ, we're looking in. And it's not our business to inspect ourselves. That is the Holy Spirit's job. He is the one who will convict us of sin, righteousness, and the judgment to come. We are not to go in and try and do his job. Now, I'm not saying that we shouldn't pause and consider if we have said something out of line or, Lord, search me and know me and try me and Show me if there's any wicked way in me. Certainly, that's what the psalmist says. There's a place for that. But not to spend our days there. But we say, Holy Spirit, please show me if there's any sin. Lord, please, you search me. I'm not going to search myself, but I'm going to ask you to search me. So there's a place for that, for asking God to search us. But it is not our business to go doing that ourselves. One, because we don't realize that what we're doing right now is, is something he disapproves of. We're going looking for something, and what we're doing is actually the problem. So whatever it is that might set you up for this, you know, if you're prone to introspection and you think, yeah, it's a monthly cycle thing where I just have a down day, or it's the weather, the weather gets me down, or Maybe it's a time of year or whatever it is. Ask God to show you and then start doing a little preparation work ahead of time. Like, Lord, please protect me. This is the time of year or this is the time of month when I tend to do this. It's like the tide goes in, the tide goes out. And there are cycles. And there may be just times when the tide is out. And that's when you tend to be 
doing too much introspecting and too much time in the dumpster. So just remind yourself to pray that you don't go near it, that this time when the tide is out, you're going to do better things with your time. When we are dumpster diving, one thing we can do is go back and revisit all those sins that we have received forgiveness for and make ourselves feel guilty all over again. Now, what is this? You know, God has forgiven us. Why would we do that? Unless there's some weird pleasure in feeling guilty all over again. And so then, again, just confess it and acknowledge that it is not pleasing to God and then change that subject. Thank him for his cleansing and for his forgiveness and move on. So our own past sins, or we can also dumpster dive and remember other people's past sins, sins against us, hurts and wrongs and disappointments, etc. Why dwell on those sins? Have you extended forgiveness? Have they received it? Have you asked God to forgive you from any resentments or bitternesses? Then why pull those out? Why try to resurrect those things? Don't let them have dominion over you. Thank God for his forgiveness and move on. Another way we dumpster dive is by being critical of ourselves and complaining and grumbling. It could be, I don't have any friends. I don't have any cute clothes. I'm too fat. No one likes me, etc. I'm a terrible mother. I'm a rotten cook. Oh my goodness. You know. We can invent a lot of things. And this is not the Holy Spirit either, because the Holy Spirit does not convict us that way. He does not say to us, you're a rotten mother. He says to us, that was an impatient word that you just spoke to your daughter. You need to fix that. And so we seek forgiveness. That's the way the Holy Spirit works. He doesn't just dump a big nebulous burden on us saying you're a failure and you're a, not a good wife and you're not a good mother or whatever. It's very specific. Sins are very specific that we are to repent of. And, you know, we're to clothe ourselves with Jesus Christ every morning when you go in your closet. Think of that. Thank God for what's in there. And then don't listen to yourself complaining about how you don't have anything to wear. Pray for something to wear. <laughs> do some shopping, do some praying. But That's dumpster diving when you're in there just manufacturing things to feel bad about or to complain about. Thank God for what is in your closet. Thank God that you have some weight to lose if you do. And then ask him to help you lose it. But don't just dwell on the negativity of it. The other thing that is dumpster diving is worry and anxiety. And I've talked about that before. And I think especially in the middle of the night, You know, and I've said also, and I'll remind you again of this, self-examination after 11 o'clock at night is a very bad idea. Don't do it. It's bad at many times, but in the light of day, sometimes when you're just asking God to search you and show you, well, he will do that. But on your own, in the middle of the night or after 11 o'clock when you're tired, you know, and maybe even emotional, it's a better idea to go to bed. Don't start it. Because you know how things are. Let's say you have some sad thing you want to talk to your husband or your friend about, and it's after 11, and it becomes emotional, and it becomes so terrible. And then you finally call it quits, and you go to bed. And in the morning, like, what was that about? What in the world? And then you have to go pick up pieces and seek forgiveness. It's just better to say, let's talk about this in the morning. How about that? And so often in the morning, you're a much better mother than you thought you were the night before. Self-pity, regrets, general discontentments, criticisms of others, all these things are in the dumpster. And, you know, it's just not pretty. Being in the dumpster is not pretty. And when you get out, you know, you're not smelling your best. And we feel crummy and we feel dirty. And we just want instead to exude the fragrance of forgiveness, the fragrance of Christ. And so we need to learn to set our mind on better things, and to come up with some better material. And we have so much material. So I leave it with you to come up with that. I'm sure I could give you ideas, but you have plenty of those. Change the subject, get to work, sing a psalm, but get out of the dumpster. And then stay out of the dumpster. It's not a fun place to be. All right. 
Hope this was encouraging to you and blessings on your day. Thanks for joining me. 